Hey guys, Taylor Among Us has here, coming on you with another let's play for Alien Shooter Tower Defense. Now, in the first episode, you saw me play through easy difficulty of levels 1 through 5, and then behind the scenes I played medium and hard for each of those levels. And so this episode is going to be me playing expert mode which is longer and harder. Now, in the meantime, I've leveled up this machine gunner quite a lot, and yeah, from the supply crates, you know, the biggest, most expensive one, we have gotten this gun, the legendary version of a AM Chestnut XL. And yeah, I've also played through this survival mode and managed to make it all the way through to level 32 using only a bunch of these and placing them in every slot now I'm not gonna try to go too far on this I'm just gonna place these two guys here and yeah and yeah sometimes I had to use one of these supply crate droppers because these guys have pretty expensive ammo. The trade-off of them being pretty powerful. Look how much damage they're doing. Whereas these guys have 780 health, so yeah. We're one-shotting the spinners. Alright, well, that's enough. I'm gonna turn off auto ammo refill and then just wait for all the aliens to get through. Oh, yeah, and also have a legendary version of the weak flamethrower. Which doesn't have that many upgrades yet. So I'll show you again. Anyways, back to the map, weapons. And yeah, no upgrades yet. Whereas this one is fully upgraded. So yeah, let's play on expert mode for mission one. <coughs> uh, yeah, the, the shotgun's the only one we can afford right now. So let's use it. And let's use landmines to take care of any spinners that get past. And then let's try to break open this supply crate. And yeah, if you were playing this on the mobile version, it would take way longer to progress this far. Because first off, every time you level up the enemies, you'll have to wait hours between each level up. Whereas in this version of the game, it's instantaneous. Alright, now let's get one of these guys. And we can sell these two shotgunners. Because this machine gunner is going to take care of the rest of them. He's probably going to solo the rest of the level. Yeah. The firepower on this guy. Yeah, a bunch more caterpillars. But now we're done. And wow, 7,100. <coughs> Completion award 4,700. 
Yeah, I could have sworn that the reward would have been much smaller on the mobile version. But yeah, I guess that's kind of their point. It's the mobile versions of Sigma Team games are usually paid to win. Well, except for the uh, recent Alien Shooter game. But I was unable to play that game because my phone's not advanced enough. Anyways, now this machine gunner is fully upgraded for armor and damage. Magazine capacity is at level 18. Next, let's play Mission 2 Expert Mode. Let's use. Alright. Then now. Use the machine gun here. Yeah, let's put a machine gun over here. Take care of any stragglers. I'm going to go up and get to you. Yeah, these guys will pretty much solo the entire level. Don't get past this guy. Uh, I saw that guy shoot off a flame at the end. Okay, to the map. Mm. Well, next let's do mission 3 expert mode. So this guy. Put a machine gunner here. Clean one over here. Then let's make one of them attack the supply crate. Oh, barely dented his ammo supply. And maybe just one more, right here. That should be enough.
Okay, actually I just remembered something um, So the thing is, building up a bunch of in-game cash doesn't increase the reward when you play on expert mode. So I might as well just go ahead and place a bunch of these all over the place. Yeah, now we're truly unstoppable. Yeah, these machine gunners seem to work way differently in this game than in the mobile version. Because <coughs> in the mobile version, their fire rates lower, but they still use like the same amount of ammo at the same rate, which is strange. Okay, let's return to the map. Weapons. Delete. Let's get a supply crate, the most expensive one. Huh. Well, I already had one of these legendary chestnuts, so let's recycle it. Oh. This one does a ton of armor damage, but it is quite even more expensive, so let's recycle it. Same with this. Huh. Let's compare the two. Wow. <coughs> let's get rid of this one though. Now this one's way more powerful than the ones before it, so let's actually use this one and then get rid of these other two. <coughs> supplies and then just get the basic crate, Hellcat, Fairbomb, and Firebug. Get rid of them all, cause I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to get more of resources. All right, now let's do expert mode for mission four.
Oh. Hot colors all over the place. to just use a few of the machine gun moves instead of spamming a bunch of shotguns like this. Because the machine gunners they have a legendary weapon, whereas the shotgunners are just normal. Shotgunners do quite a lot of damage to armor though. So, I mark these caterpillars with ease. <laughs> Alright, now last one for this video, Expert Mode of Mission 5. So this guy, machine gun here, one here, and one here. Okay, a new strategy. I'm gonna use one of these supply drone thingies. So I can build up the machine gun resource in there as quickly as possible. And just spam a bunch of them all over the map. As well as a few shotgunners because how powerful they are against armor. Almost done. Wow. That was quick.
Mission 5 complete to the map. And now let's look at our weapons. Recycle. Alright. Well, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, until next time. No, I'm not gonna play this mission yet until. And if I do, I'm gonna definitely gonna record it. Now, episode 3 of this Let's Play series will probably be about mission 6 through 10. In the meantime, I'm just gonna play this and then continue leveling up and getting better weapons. So for now, goodbye.